Hi guys, just a very quick impromptu video because as I've mentioned before I'm, I was getting new internet access in the lab. Well, it's here. They just installed it and woohoo, haven't tested it, uh, tested the speed yet. Browser works, but uh, I thought I'd show you that live, see what I get. Anyway, uh, if you haven't heard, I am getting an 8 meg, 8 meg symmetrical connection it's uh, over uh, Ethernet now I've been in this building for the last two and a half years and I have been unable to find anyone who can get me decent internet access and I just uh, lucked upon this company who happened to have gear in the MDF uh, room down in the basement down here they have a 10 megabit 10 megabit connection coming into the building and but they've only got a couple of uh, customers on uh, voice uh, services so they're not using much bandwidth at all so they're able to guarantee me an 8 meg 8 meg connection uh, full a uh, service level agreement all that sort of stuff for only a couple of hundred bucks a month which trust me in Australia is dirt cheap at the moment I'm paying a hundred bucks a month and like most businesses small businesses and uh, consumers in Australia we're connected with ADSL 2 plus and I'm getting at the moment a 15 meg download which isn't bad here in the uh, lab and I'm getting only about 800, 850k or thereabouts, maybe 900 on a good day, you know, if that uh, tongue's at the right angle, then uh, 900 k bits or 0.9 or 0.8 megabits per second. So this connection should be 10 times faster. Also, I'm paying 100 bucks a month for that at the moment. So I do uh, most of my editing and upload at home because I've got a 2.4 megabit upload uh, Telstra cable connection there. So I've got 100 meg megabits download. That's also 100 bucks a month. So it's faster there, two and, a, two and a half to three times faster than here at the lab. So that's why I do most of my uploads. But now I've got an 8.8 connection. Uh, I'll be moving all my gear here, all my video editing uh, stuff, my main machine, and I'll be doing my editing and uploading here because this is where the best internet connection is. And uh, hopefully with all this uh, spare bandwidth, I'll be able to run uh, better live shows. I'll have a permanent uh, webcam set up in the corner so you can see what's happening in the lab if you've got nothing better to do with your time than just sit around and watch me sit around <laughs> in the lab. Go figure. Anyway, I haven't tested this thing yet. I thought I'd show you. It's uh, VDSL2, uh, which pretty much, you know, it's, uh, they don't really offer VDSL uh, services here in Australia. It's pretty much ADSL for everything. But uh, this company have their own stuff down in the basement and they're running. Uh, the company's name is Building Connect, by the way. And I'll link them in down below if you want to check them out. But yeah, I haven't been able to find anyone to get me good internet access in this lab. I know. Everyone's going, oh, 8888, 8, 8, 8, it's hopeless. Yeah, I don't want to hear from everyone in Romania who brags that they get 100 meg, 100 meg fiber directly to their house for 20 bucks a month. Oh, don't want to hear about it. Anyway, Australia is so backwards, especially in the business parks. Our new national broadband network here is only being rolled out into new housing estates. It's not being rolled out into any of the business parks in uh, Sydney, which is just ridiculous. So. But even then, apparently I was told, very badly designed and you won't get anywhere close to the claimed 100 meg, 100 meg uh, infrastructure speed that they claimed. It's just not possible due to the design of the National Broadband Network. Anyway, that's an aside. Uh, so at the moment I'll be using uh, up all of the Ethernet uh, bandwidth coming to the building. With They've only got the one 10 meg, 10 meg line. Uh, so I'll be using 8 meg bits of that but they're installing a new fiber to the building and uh, I will be upgrading to the 20 meg 20 meg plan that's like $385 a month I think and yeah it sounds expensive but in Australia trust me it's cheap this building that I'm in has Telstra fiber directly to the basement Telstra won't even acknowledge the fact that they offer fiber uh, services they will only offer uh, Ethernet over copper and they will charge I'm not kidding eight thousand dollars a month and I'll link in down below to actually prove that eight thousand dollars a month for 1010 unbelievable Optus they've also got fiber in the building they want like fourteen hundred dollars a month for fiber to my office for only 1010 don't even ask how much anything higher speed costs anyway so to get 2020 meg here in the lab a symmetrical uh, symmetrical internet connection as it's called because the upload speed is the same as the download speed um, as opposed to ADSL which is um, asymmetrical so that it's mostly download speed a little bit of upload and as a YouTube content producer 
Ah, oh, man, it's just hopeless. I can't even do live, I can barely do live streaming audio with my ADSL 2 Plus, but now I'll be able to do streaming video, live shows, and a whole bunch of things which haven't been enabled before. So, brilliant. If you've got any good ideas, leave it in the comments of what I can do with that bandwidth. So, I thought we'd check it out. Here we go. We've got ourselves, this is the uh, VDSL2 uh, router slash modem. They, uh, they just installed this. I didn't uh, choose this one from a company I haven't heard of, Planet Telecommunications, or maybe I have heard of them, but uh, I don't know, pretty obscure to me. Uh, it's the VC230N model, and yeah, it's a wireless end router, but there it is, VDSL2 uh, Plus four-port uh, router. Looks like it has a VoIP phone connection, which I'm going to get. Um, so I've plugged it in, and I get net access. So let's have a look. I'll show you this first though. This is the uh, VDSL status within the modem. So uh, here it is. And the physical line here is only 20, where is it, 23 meters to the communications cupboard down the corridor uh, here and then down to the MDF room. So it's a very short run. Uh, but it's telling me that the attainable rate uh, on this physical copper line I've got for this VDSL2 connection is 59.8 uh, megbits uh, upload and 138 megbits download. So, you know, I could go up to the 50 meg, 50 meg plan if I wanted to, and that'd be like five, four, fifty, five hundred dollars a month. I'm not quite sure, but I'll be upgrading to the 2020 soon. So, uh, yeah, so there you go for those uh, playing along at home and who love their uh, VDSL stats and know what all this stuff means. So here we go, I haven't done this yet. Begin test. Let's go. I'm on now speedtest.net, it's sort of the de facto uh, standard. What do we get? What do we get? Ping, 8 milliseconds, that's pretty awesome. Hey, there we go, flat chat, 8. So there, yeah, there, there's like software limiting me somewhere to uh, 8 meg. 8 meg, so I can't hog the entire line, so those voice customers don't lose that. But what I really want, this is upload speed. Come on. You can do it. You can do it. Woohoo! Five, six, seven. I'm getting pretty close to my, looks like I'm going to get pretty close to my uh, claimed eight. I wouldn't expect it to be bang on, but it should be pretty close. There we go. Ta-da! NBN in your area. Ha, <laughs> I love the ad that popped up. Bullshit! Ah. <sighs> Here we go. Yeah, uh, oh, it just what? It just reset or something? No, it was eight eight. Let's ah, oh, unbelievable. Run it again. But yeah, um, we are getting eight eight. So I'm not sure what happened there. Usually it takes you to the uh, results page. No, no. Oh yeah, here we go. Five milliseconds. Look at that. All right. That's not as flat as it was before. Anyway. And upload speed, connecting, oh, look at that. Yeah, that's 10 times faster than what I'm getting at the moment with ADSL 2 Plus. There we go, look at that. 7.5 meg upload and 8, um, 7.8 uh, download with a ping of 5 milliseconds. Absolutely brilliant. But what I really want to test is the YouTube upload speed. So here you go. I've got uh, the YouTube upload page. And let's choose a file. This one should be, here it is, Kickstarter Management. It's an old one, but it's only 54 meg. Now that's incredibly, incredibly small for my videos. Usually my videos are between 1 and 2 gig, or some of them are 2.5 or 3 gig or even more, depending on the content. That one's really small because it was uh, screen capture stuff, and screen capture stuff compresses incredibly well uh, as opposed to my usual content. So, um, yeah, because I've got an 8 megabit connection that should be in theory eight uh, megabytes per second and of course this is 54 meg uh, byte file so it should upload in around about a minute I don't expect it to be that quick because there's overhead and stuff like that uh, involved but here we go let's drag it over and I'll start my stopwatch start and upload one percent 
Two percent. Woohoo! Three, four, it's flying. Three minutes remaining. Three minutes remaining. Looks pretty quick. Two minutes remaining. Yeah, it's not going to do it in a minute, but it's going to be pretty good. This is ten times faster than what I'm used to. Sometimes my videos can take many, many hours uh, to upload uh, because I produce HD content. And, uh, you know, you can compress it to your heart's content, but still, even some of them are, you know, a couple of gig because uh, my videos are generally fairly long. So, whoa, this is fantastic. Look at this. I can't believe it. That is awesome. So imagine if I upgrade to the 2020 plan. Uh, we're going 45 seconds. Yeah, only half done. So it'll take like two minutes. So it's not, you know, there was a fair bit of overhead in there and stuff like that. But trust me, that is much, much quicker than what it was before. So awesome. That is a win. Fantastic. And uh, it, it might be uh, a bit slower too because uh, that video, I think, rendered was not optimized for... Uh, upload. It can be a little bit slower and the processing as well uh, is a bit slower depending just the file encoding uh, used. So, but that is, that is terrific. Woohoo! Unbelievable. That's a win. I now have decent internet access here in the lab. Like, I don't care about download. Like, my download is halved. I used to get 15 and a half or 16 meg before. Now I'm getting 8. Couldn't care less. It's all about that upload speed. That's all that matters for a content producer like me and hopefully I can do some really uh, well, some different stuff now. So there we go, it's almost done. I'm massively happy with that. That is fantastic. Processing, ta-da! Done. Complete. So that is just absolutely brilliant. I'm stoked. Absolutely stoked. I think a victory dance is in order. Can't touch this. Got to do some MC Hammer. There you go. Fantastic. Oh, man. You don't know what it's been like. Two and a half years here. And I've had bugger all internet access. I can barely do my uh, the Amp Hour radio show. Actually uh, stream that via the Mumble uh, service and record at the same time. You know, it was struggling to get that working, let alone any sort of uh, live streaming or anything like that. So I've ordered one of those uh, drop cam uh, cameras. I'm going to stick it up uh, permanently in the lab here so you'll be able to watch me. I don't know why anyone would want to watch me. Anyway, if you've got nothing better to do, you can watch me in the lab and hopefully set up uh, permanent live cams and uh, things like that for the live shows. So there you go. This wasn't a quick video, was it? No, I waffled on. That's what I do. Extra waffle here on the EV vlog. But I am absolutely stoked. That is fantastic. Ah, oh, man, welcome to the noughties, the 2000s, even the 1990s, with my VDSL2 connection. Ah, oh, it's a bit more modern than that, but anyway, 8.8, I'm stoked. Yeah, rub it in if you've got something faster, I know. Catch you next time.